mason jars are not just for canning anymore. I am so excited to show you various ways in which you can use your mason jars with just a few modifications and attachments. So stick around and learn all the different ways that you can now use your mason jars in your own kitchen and in your home. The first way I want to show you how you can use your mason jars is for tea. I always like to make my own tea from loose tea. I'm leaving a link below where you can get excellent loose tea leaves. So much better than any weird tea bags with chemicals or bleach agents. And the problem is that when you add hot water to your mason jar, it becomes too hot to touch it. And that's where these silicone sleeves come in. They have a hole on the bottom and it's just really simple to boil up some water and pour it over your mason jar. This is a 16 ounce a pint and I am making a little bit of a concentrate and then I can use a smaller jar and then I can dilute it later. So I'm giving it a good stir. Ideally you want to let it steep for maybe 10 minutes for this hibiscus cooler that is just so yummy for the summer. And here I'm just simply showing you that you can strain out your tea leaves, which is a simple way of avoiding tea bags, which I have done for the past years. And I'm just so in love with how I can use my mason jars to do that into my glass here through a strainer. And again, it's no problem touching the hot jar with the silicone sleeve. It comes in various colors. You can make that work for your own kitchen. And I'm going to show you later where you can find these and the links for them. I personally like to add a little sweetener to my hibiscus cooler and I like stevia. I know that that can be a little controversial, but I'm just adding a couple of or maybe three drops and then I'm adding some water to cool it down. And oh my gosh, it is so refreshing and yummy in the summer. So this is a bigger silicone sleeve for the quart size mason jars and it comes with the same hole that makes it a little bit easier to take it off. This comes from Mason Jar Lifestyle. Again, there'll be a discount code for you in the description box below where you can find these. And ideally with that hole in the bottom, the sleeves should come right off because they're not creating a vacuum, but there's a little bit of a vacuum because the silicone fits pretty snugly. Once you get that off a little bit, you actually get it out pretty easily. But I love that if I wanted to make a bigger jar of tea or something else. My homemade kefir is part of my daily breakfast and I need to strain out the kefir grains so I can do that with various attachments. There is a strainer attachment and then there's this one. I think it's just officially called like a shaker top attachment. It is stainless steel. I love it and it has these holes in it. And all you do is you transfer your finished kefir. I know some people say kefir or kefir. I say kefir. I hope it doesn't bother you. And what I'm realizing is that the kefir grains are actually clogging up the little holes in the strainer top. So what I'm going to do is give this a bigger stir to distribute everything. And then let's try that again. Another stainless steel top. Sometimes you have to work to find where the threading is and how to attach it because you don't want the kefir to come out on the sides. And simply you just shake it, strain it. You can use it for anything else that you want to strain. Again, there is the smaller strainer um, with the mesh and then this one with the holes. I got some kefir on my hand. <laughs> and I'm going to show you my kefir grains that I have in the jar here. Here they are. And now they need to be fed again with fresh raw milk that I'm adding to the kefir. I have an entire video about what I am doing with my kefir routine and how I keep my kefir grains happy. I love these storage lids because they're convenient, leak proof and airtight. They fit all sorts of other jars. They're perfect for the fridge, for the freezer or for the pantry and they're dishwasher safe. They won't rust. They're BPA free, plastic free and heavy duty stainless steel. What's not to love about those? And once I have my kefir ready here, you can see the silicone insert that is separate from the stainless steel lid. 
and you simply put that on that makes it leak proof and I can put that in the fridge and wait I forget which jar is which but one goes in the fridge and the other one goes in the windowsill to keep my kefir grains happy and fermenting then I can put those in the refrigerator for my next breakfast if your kefir turns out a little runny, which mine sometimes does, and that's part of kefir, I wanna show you this pour top here with a handle, which is really neat for smaller jars. This is the regular mouth, but they also come in wide mouth, and it has a top that's very leak proof, and if you open it, you can just pour the kefir wherever you want it, or any other liquid that you have. It comes in various colors with handle and without handle, and you can see that it has a silicone ring to make it leak proof. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with the rest of my hibiscus concentrate. I'm gonna give that one more good stir to make sure I get all the goodness out of it. And the longer you let it steep, the deeper the color will be, and the more you steep all the goodness out of the hibiscus leaves. So first I'm gonna strain it. Obviously I could have done that with my little strainer top, but that's a little smaller here. And then again, I'm adding some stevia. And this is for if I wanna take this on the go and my water to delete down the concentrate. And of course you can make it as strong or as weak as you like. It just really doesn't matter. However, here is the lid that I love because it has a little hole where you can drink it out of and you attach the lid to the jar. Let's find where it starts and tighten it tight and you can drink and you see there's no dripping of red liquid on my shirt and stains it. Nope, I can take it in the car, I can take it with me and if it's hot I can even use, let's put the strainer over here and this one leaf in there. So you can use the silicone sleeve if your tea is hot and you can take it with you on the go your hot tea or your cold tea and it actually keeps it this is the website mason jar lifestyle i'm going to leave the link below for you it has all sorts of bestsellers pump tops straws and storage lids and all sorts of really helpful attachments lids and ways that you can extend the life of your mason jars and use them for all sorts of uses because they're reusable they're dishwasher safe they're pretty they're attractive you can look for staff picks you can learn a little bit more about the company and the founders behind them which is super neat to know a company that is u.s based well thank you so much for watching Remember, I have that special discount code for you until the end of July 2024. So grab that and I will see you in the next video.